dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of python programming in this video i am going to discuss user defined function in the previous session we have discussed what is the meaning of function what are the different type of built in function now today we are going to move on the user defined function also we will be learning about how to define uh, how to begin with the user defined function what is the significance of return statement so what do we mean by arguments so uh, some examples also we are going to familiar so that uh, at this end of the session you will be able to understand the basic of a uh, user defined function which is very essential for python programming i would like to explain the basic structure of a user defined function uh, there is one example which is uh, given for your reference usually user defined function starts with a keyword called def thereafter it is your choice you can define any one of the name that you will consider as a function that become as a function here it is very clear that the function name this become as a function here you can observe df is the keyword which is used to define the function next is actually the function name here i already indicated this particular name that become as a function right now because you are defining the function now other one is actually called parameters parameter is considered as an argument whatever you are typing inside the bracket is known as arguments parameters are variable that accept the input here only uh, this parameter that uh, that will accept the inputs these are enclosed in the parenthesis and separated by commas whenever you are writing you have to separate by commas other one is actually called a function body you can see the function body the function body consisting of code that define what the function does inside like uh, operation you can perform the operation that is generally called as function body in the return statement that gives the output or come out of the program or exit in the program this is the basic idea about uh, like a uh, user defined function very important point you need to understand the two keyword one is called def def is actually the keyword which you are going to define the function after whatever you are writing after the def so that become as a function in between there is a function body at the end there is a return statement return is important to get the output fine or to exit the program or to come out of the program there is one example just for your reference uh, i think you can uh, screen is visible to everybody so we are going to define a function called a add add become as a function how because you have added the definition def after def the add become uh, just like a function so add a comma b okay add a comma b uh, the result the result become uh, this is actually the function body we can write it as a function body correct function body function body correct the result this become as a function body ultimately you are able to get the result okay uh, then uh, this is your result how to get the result you are using the uh, return statement so that the result will uh, like uh, the result will be displayed so that uh, it will come out of the program so this is a basic idea that means the code you provide defines the simple python function called uh, like uh, add okay add is a function right now you can see add is a function right now okay it is very clear to everybody it will take two parameters a and b so a and b these are the argument which will receive the value okay and uh, it returns the result it is going to return the result okay like a return result that means the sum of a and b that is going to be stored in the result if you call this function with a specified values a and b it will become like a sum of two value the function the, the right now you created a function for computing two numbers okay uh, so uh, that is actually the peculiarity like this you can uh, you can you can create based upon your based on your requirement you can create you can create your own function fine so there is another example so here you can observe uh, like you can also define your own function that accept the arguments like that so whatever you are typing inside that particular parenthesis that, that is called as arguments so importance of def statement is already given once again so def hello name now what is the function name function hello become a function the function body what is a function body print hello plus name so that means uh, the name the name is going to be added along with the hello your name whatever you are typing the name that is going to be added plus this is an operator here so hello alice hello bob the output become like hello alice hello bob whatever the things for example hello become a function so inside the name whatever you are typing for example alice i have typed first so along with the hello alice will be added later i have typed as bob then along with the name 
uh, along with the hello along with the hello bob is going to be added so here you can understand that there is a keyword called def after the keyword def the hello become function uh, in between there is a function body called print later you are using one plus two operator with the name then whatever you are anyway hello become by default okay later whatever you are typing the name with respect to the name the output will be displayed hello will be by default hello alice and hello bob so whatever the name you are typing now it is going to accept so moving further return value so return value what is the meaning of return value to exit the function okay to exit the function or to get the output uh, return is a keyword which gives the output or to come out of the program so this is a basic statement of a user defined function we have def fun now fun become a function right now in between there is a function body ultimately return this index will be helpful for writing the examination Whenever you are creating a function using DEF statement, you can specify what the return value should be with the return statement. So after the here, you can mention what could be the uh, like uh, output like that you can directly mention so that it will come out of the program. So return statement uh, in return statements are not executed. The statement after the return statement will not be executed. Uh, so return is the end of that user defined function. After that, it is not a part of the program. The return statement is without any expression is generally called as none. For example, uh, the, the, there is a return value and a return statement. One example I already discussed, the same example I have put up. If you want, you can practice once, open your interpreter, you can type after DEM and become function. Inside that, there are two variables, A and B, that receives the value. Then return A plus B in the sense, it's a function body. Ultimately, the result, the result will be add 3 and 4, 3 comma 4. The output you can expect is 7. Moreover, no return statement. For example, you can see the no return statement, the importance of none, like a DEF do something. Now do something become a function. The function body is treated as pass, result do nothing. The output will be none only. Of course, nothing will be there for doing the operation. So output is none. None is a special built-in value that represents the absence of a value or null value. If no, just like a empty or void, that is a representation of none. It is mainly used to indicate uh, that variable or object does not have a meaningful value. If there are no meaningful value in the function body, the result will be obviously none. If you type the return, then the result will become none only. So the none value, some examples I, you can observe. The spam print hello, none is equal to spam. Of course, the result will be true only. The Python, there is a value called none, which represents the absence of a value. If there is no proper value, the uh, output will become none. Okay, so examples of none, you can practice this example for your reference. Okay, so keyword argument and print. For example, uh, in Python, you can use the keyword argument with the print. That is a one uh, feature. It is specified to additional option and control the output format. Keyword arguments are optional and they allow you to provide additional information to the function using keyword equal to value pairs. Whenever I'm teaching you the dictionary at that time, I can explain the concept once again. Uh, so, these are few examples you can observe, right? Importance of print and uh, keyword arguments. You can just go through the example. For example, print hello, comma, end. Then print world. Then uh, definitely, uh, you'll be getting output as hello world. Please verify one. The end keyword argument specifies what to happen at the end of the printed output. So, here, here, are, here is another example. So, whenever I am explaining the dictionary, I can clarify this concept once again. So in this video, uh, the summary I want to explain. So we studied about how to call or how to create a user defined function. DEF is very important. After that, uh, whatever you are typing, that become a function. Then you have to put one parenthesis inside you need to mention the parameters. So parameter receives the values. Okay, just like a variable. In between, there is a function body to perform the operation. And the result, then you have to mention the result. For example, return result, that means uh, it will come out of the program. Here, two keywords you have to remember. One is DEF, other one is return. So later, I, we have solved some problem. We have done the some uh, one, some program and we understood the structure of an user-defined function. That is very important. And later, we discussed about the importance of return. What is the meaning of return? And we studied the syntax as well. Thereafter, we studied about some basic examples. Afterwards, I have explained the concept of none. Okay. Like uh, if the absence of any value in that function body that become uh, the concept become null. Okay, null. Okay, none, none, none value. Okay. So we have solved some examples based on the concept none. Okay, some simple example. Then keyword argument we have discussed. Later print function, importance of print function. 
So these are all the things we have discussed in this session. Let me know if you have any queries. If you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. I'm very happy to answer that. Happy learning. Have a great day.